guys, today I'm gonna make diamond and gold pickaxe. You can make it like a charm so Steve can play with. It. And then, or you can make it into a keychain or backpack tag or just like this. It's kind of cute too. We always want to start with red arrows pointing away from you. First, we're gonna use double bands. Start it from the center and pull it to the first on your left. First on the center, to first on your left. Then from first on your left to second on your left. And then do that two times. Goes up like this. And do the same things to your right. From center to your right. And then all these are double bends and first right. Pull up one times. Pull up two times. And this is what it should look like. Next, again double bends from first on the centers. Pull up one times. Pull up two, three, four, and five. Five times on the center on the first, goes up five times. And then you take a one single band, bring on your hook, twist it two times. One, and two. This time you're gonna see three rings on your hooks with the same band. Just one single band. Then you take two bands and put it on the hooks and pull it through. And then it's gonna look like this. And you put your hooks to both ends. You're gonna see four rings on your hooks. So make sure you do all of them. And then you press this on the first one on the center. Before you do that, we're gonna push all the bands down. That way you won't come out after you loop in the bands. Always do that, it makes it easier later. And then we press this on the first on the centers. And this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna put cap bands, take a single band and put it on the hook, twist two times, one and two. So again, you're gonna see three rings with the same bands on your hook. And then you pull it. And then press them on the last one on your left. And do the same things for the one on your right. Take single bands, twist it two times and see three rings with the same bands on your hook and then you pull it and press the last one on your right and then we take a brown single bands do the same things for the one on your centers twist twice three rings with the same bands on your hook and then press it on the same last one on the centers. And this is what it should look like. Now we're ready to pin the bands. You turn around your rooms and then you start with the one in the center, which is brown in this case. And then you Go under the cap bands, grab the bottom two, and hold on to your cap bands, it won't come out 
and click it to the next ones. Correct. Go and and you will see a teardrop here, in which inside we have teardrop. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next ones, and continue to do this until the last ones. And hook it to the last ones. Again, a lot of bends here, so we gotta make sure keep everything down, so it won't come up. Now we're gonna come back here, do the one on your left. The same thing, reach under the cap bands, and then grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Reach, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next ones. When you come to the last ones, gotta make sure we grab the bottom two and hook it to the last one on the centers. And then we come back here and do the one on your right. Reach under cap bands and use your and hold on to the cap bands. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next ones. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next ones. And grab the bottom two, hook it to the last one on the centers. Put the last one here, from here to here. Now this is what it should look like. Now last part, if we it's we you put your hook through all the band, make sure you through all of them and take a single band and hook it to your hooks and then and then you grab it through and then you hook another end to the hooks and then tie it up you grab one end and go through the other ends that will tie it and then it's time to pull it up since so many bands here you want to use hook I think this is the best way to do it to help to take all the bands out so it won't change too much when we pull it and then after that you can pull it out and here's your diamond here's your diamond pickaxe and after you pull it out here's you can Pull it to the bags and use a secret. And you take a secret and click this ends to you just grab one of the bands in the back here and click on your secret. That way you won't come out. You can tuck it under the bands, the other bands, but after you pull it for a little bit, it will come out and then you lose it. So I think this is best way to keep it so you can put it longer so it won't come out. And then here it's your diamond pickaxe. And then the other ways if you want to make it into keychains, you can instead of doing C crepes. You can take it out and then keep the last bands. This is the band that we use to secure. And then we keep it and we take more bands. Take your hooks, keep it in here. Gotta make sure this one's here so you won't lose. This one lose everything falling apart. So you take a single band and do like a singles and you grab it through here and make a chain like this and you can make it as long as you like do like this and that will become a kitchen or you can use a backpack tag or attach to any item that you like 
or maybe even just a charm for your braces. That would be an idea too. You do like this, you can make it longer, but I'm gonna stop right here so you already get an idea. And then here's your kitchens, like this. Or you can use like charms for the braces. It will be cool too. And then you can play with it. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time.